This is a quick, uh, so just sharing some thoughts on common, easy to make mistakes uh, that just about anybody can make. Uh, so this is a uh, obviously a uh, page about treating skin conditions with a product called the Skin Pen. It's actually pretty famous and, from what I understand, very effective. Uh, but I just want to run through a few things. This is a consult. Uh, that I was in the middle of and I thought I would stop and uh, just put up a quick tutorial about um, some pitfalls to avoid. So um, number one, uh, frequently asked questions, read answers to all your questions. This is just a conversion point. It's a very small one, but one I believe is important. It says read answers to all your questions. Um, I would keep it with frequently asked questions. Um, implying that this is all my questions feels a little affrontal to me. feels like, you know, you're kind of got all this already done. We don't need any more questions asked. But, like, again, small point that may not hit for everybody. But it's something I would consider because it was the first thing that came to me. And uh, so getting into more of a code SEO level, I want to show you what uh, some breakdowns on the title tag and things. So this is what the title tag looks like. It's really, really long. Now you'll notice a green check mark here. That's because, well, there's just a lot of reasons. Um, all it's basically saying there is a title tag here because most people don't put title tags on their pages. <laughs> so uh, if there is a title tag, this particular tool says it's okay. It's really not. Your title tag only displays about 55 characters. So I'm gonna show you, I believe I have that up here. Um, let's see here. Yeah, here we go. This is the URL. I, I searched skin pen anti-aging system. This is a test you want to run. When you know what your title tag is, you want to search your first title tag and see if it's returning for that. The next thing you can do, and we'll do this in a second, is to then go through each one of these other uh, keywords uh, and, and see if they return. And I believe what you're going to find is these last ones don't return as well because you should be probably right in this area right here uh, at the cutoff. So let's go back and look at that real fast. Yeah, so acne pen and microneedling, dot, dot, dot. So microneedling is the last thing you get out of here. <clears throat> so device isn't there, pox guard treatment, skin pen by Bellis Medical. None of that's in there. So the reason this is important is because, number one, if you overstuff all your title tags, that's going to feel like over-optimization to Google and you're gonna get a few points deducted. I'm not trying to tell you that this tactic will sink your site because it's not going to. But if you continually overstuff all your keywords in your title tag, that's a tactic Google identifies as um, not black hat necessarily, but un unapproved. It's something they don't like because it points back to the bad old days when a lot of bad marketers just stuff title tags or keywords everywhere. So the best thing to do is, uh, number one, you always want to test what you're what you're doing. So you always want to go and search in Google and see um, what it, what is being seen out there. Uh, so now let's run through and let's test our other keywords that are in that title tag. So we have skin pant. We already know these two are in there. Now let's do pox scar treatment. Okay, so you can see that falls off pretty good. Um, of course, it doesn't have the skin pen name in it. Let's see if it's on the first page. Um, this is another little thing in Chrome. Uh, I don't use Firefox a lot, but I know in Chrome, if you mouse over any link, it's going to tell you down here what the link is. So that's a nice uh, little tool you can use. So that's a search. That's a search return. Okay, none of these are skin pen. Okay, so now let's do plus skin pen. Now that's interesting that um, it didn't return first. Now this is very interesting. This is a different title tag, but it says the same thing about treatments. Let's go back and look at our URL. This is a big deal because it's saying you have two about treatments page pages. 
skinpin.com about dash treatments skinpin.com about dash treatments so these are the same URL but you have a different page indexing so now let's go see what that page is this is very interesting to me Okay, let's go back to this. Okay, this is the FAQs page. But the about treatments. This is the one I tested that gave us this title tag. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to check back into this. This isn't really our, but this is why you test. You need to know these things. This is not, this is not a small deal. You definitely need to, we need to test this and dig into it, figure out what the deal is. But, uh, so that's one problem that, um, because if you do have two pages with the same URL, uh, that's an issue. That's going to feel squirrely to Google and that can hurt you on your overall ranking. An important factor to remember in ranking is that Google looks at your entire site now. It no longer looks at a single page. It says, oh, we like this page. All the other pages are crap, but we really like this page, so we're going to rank this page. That doesn't really happen. If there are problems on the rest of your site, it's going to pull all of your rankings down. Even if they're first page, they, could, they might be able to be higher. So something to consider is when little URL things like this come up, you need to make sure and take care of them. This is why you test your links and test your rankings. So let's go ahead. Let's try, um, let's try one more thing. Go back to our Google search. When we are going to, so this isn't a something else. You search inside your brand name, and then you search inside your category. That's a very important distinction. So your category here, this is one of your treatments, but you have a vertical, a category. And the category in this case is micro needling. So now instead of searching skin pen, which is the brand name, people are not going to search that unless they're aware of you already. Now you want to search your um, your uh, vertical. Your, this is in the vertical. It's really maybe a sub-vertical of skin treatment and aesthetics, but we're going to call it a, a vertical for this uh, treatment. Uh, micro needling. Now, this is, this is another little subtle thing. These are little things that you have to think about. I spelled it with... Um, with no, uh, with one word, that's one word. Now let's do that again. Yeah, so this is one word. That's what predict. So prediction, but prediction is very important because, because Google is telling you, hey, a lot of other people have searched this. So if you know that and you're trying to promote a product, you wanna get in on that. You wanna get some juice behind that. So now let's search this. Okay, now see, remember I searched that as one word, but the first thing I saw was two words. So we're seeing all one word. Here's a hyphenated. This is one word down here. This is one word. But what was interesting to me, now watch this. First thing you see is a two word use. So when you see this, you want to go, okay, I'm going to, uh, dump out some content on some duplicate pages, rewrite the content and spin it. So it's relative, it's the same content uh, uh, materially, but it's it's unique content in that it's not a duplicate page. You don't want duplicate pages if you can avoid it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one with micro needling and I'm going to create another one with micro space needling because that may return better. And again, you test that and you see if it helps any at all if it returns you in different search rankings. If you get different rankings for both those two pages, you know that Google is treating those as two separate pages and that they're not ranking, like if one, if they're both number eight, there's a good likelihood that Google's seeing those as, as similar enough that you don't need two pages. But if you get one number eight and one number 10, you need to keep those as separate pages and you know you've gained yourself a ranking position. These are small, subtle things that are gonna help you in uh, the search world, in the organic world, and getting more content placed. Um, so let's see, we've still got, I think we still have, yeah, 
okay, skin pembalus medical, that is, now this is really important too. This is what you should do. You should always do skin pembalus medical hanging out at the end of your title tag. So what I would uh, counsel these folks to do is to use the, these two right here and then put skin, pen, so just get rid of this one. And the reason is not all search engines are the same as Google. We tend to think from Google's perspective for two reasons. Number one, they own the largest share of this organic search market. And number two, most other search engines uh, follow their lead. But one important distinction is not, of them, not all of them limit their title tags uh, to being short. And so when you know you have um, what I call captured search, which means uh, certain browsers have maybe being preloaded. Um, I don't know if, what Facebook situation is now, but they used to force all searches through Bing. So if you did a general search inside Facebook, it would give you Bing. Well, maybe Bing allows 100 characters in their keywords. So you want to have your, your uh, brand name out, out at the end. Now let's look at the meta description. For more information on the skin pen, this is wasted time. People who are looking at this already see it in the title tag, most likely. But they're not looking for the skin pen. You're telling, you're introducing a brand new idea to me. I'm looking for microneedling. I want to take care of my acne scars. I don't need a brand name yet. Um, at best, at most, I would say the skin pen and go in from there. I'm calling it a powerful anti-aging treatment. I don't know if I would do that in the meta description. I would say something like the skin pen um, reduces acne scars, stretch marks, and uh, aging uh, effects with little or no downtime. That's your value proposition. So the reason this this jumps out of search and over into the sales process, and the reason it's so important is if you look over here on the SERP, search engine return page, SERP, look right here. This is what we're talking about. So if you, let's get back to uh, skin pen. So we'll return our page. So, uh, this is the other one. This is not the same page. Fascinating. That's fascinating. Let's see if we get our other page back up here. Nope. Nope. Uh, let's get back to it. Um, this is a great value proposition. Uh, the only thing is it's too long. So you see what happens is everything after this is wasted. So if you were a local business, you number one, you want to have your phone number in your meta description as a local business. This is not a local business. But um, and it does a great job up to this point and other dot, dot, dot. That makes me want to read what the others are. So in this case, the, the meta description is very good. But we're getting a little long on the video here. So uh, I kind of want to wrap that up. But the key things to remember here are title tag, pay attention to it, test it, take a look at how other people see it. And as a larger conversation, you always want to look at your business through your customer's eyes. Don't just produce content and operate your business from the inside out. That's called inside out thinking, and it's really dangerous. A lot of companies fail because of inside out thinking. Blockbuster is a great example. Uh, Netflix was out there, available to be purchased even uh, early in the game. But because of inside out thinking, and they were the giant and the industry leader, they waited too long and they got devoured by Netflix. So then the next thing is your meta description. Again, you get into length and uh, content. You want your value proposition to be clear. For more information on is, that's pretty uh, redundant because I'm already searching. I'm looking for information. Um, I, know, I have a reasonable enough brain. The general searcher does. There, I don't, probably there aren't any people that are going, man, I would click on this link if only I thought there was more information on this page, that's probably not stopping anybody from clicking. So don't waste that limited amount of space. You only have 155 characters in the meta description. So use that to give your value proposition very clearly. And if you're local, get your phone number in there. And I'll close with that. Hope this helps.